Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good people. My name is Martini Morage, Wamoreidi, and today, this morning, this evening, if you're watching in the evening, it's morning time when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday morning, Wednesday the 13th, May 2020. Uh, it is 43 degrees where I'm at, 43 degrees Fahrenheit right now. About, uh, that's about six degrees, maybe six degrees far, uh, Celsius. Anyway, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're a new viewer, please like the video, subscribe, share if you feel like it. And uh, otherwise, welcome to another edition of Letters by a Nut. And uh, this is a series that I've been reading, uh, a series of letters. And uh, today's letter is... Uh, was, oh, was written on January 12th, 1996, to the executive offices of Shasta Soda, P.O. Box 4617, Hayward, California, 9450. And this is what Mr. Ted L. Nancy wrote. Dear Shasta Cola, I heard you were changing your name to Laxvad Hot Cream. Why? I have enjoyed Shasta Strawberry Soda for years. Why change now? This will only confuse your many Shasta strawberry drinkers. I have always asked for your soda by saying, Shasta, please. May I have a Shasta strawberry soda? I don't think the name change over will be easy for me. Will be easy for me to remember. Some of us can't remember those unusual names. I would rather say Shasta strawberry soda than Laxvads and forget that hot cream. Shasta strawberry tastes best ice cold. Everyone knows that, everyone knows that. Also, Shasta cola is the perfect amount of syllables to say when asking for a cold one. So, please, Shasta strawberry, tell me that you're keeping the name Shasta strawberry soda and not changing it to Laxvad's hot cream. Thank you for your response regarding this matter. I need to know. Only a Shasta strawberry sipper. Ted L. Nancy. Good people. There's the letter that Mr. Nancy wrote to uh, the Shasta Soda Company. And I guess it, it was because he was, uh, oh, they were changing their name. And he wasn't happy with the name that they were changing it to and he preferred their old name. And it's most, it's most like, most people like us, most people I think, not like us, most people, and don't like change, I feel like, uh, when one of the social media platforms changes something, people always complain, you know? People don't like change, people like things, how they, they people like normal, the normal they're used to, not a new normal. And Mr. Ted L. Nancy is not that different anyway. Almost 13 days later, actually 13 days later, January 25th, 1996, Shasta Company wrote back. And uh, this is what they replied to Mr. Nancy. Dear Mr. Nancy, thank you for contacting Shasta Beverages and sharing your concern regarding Shasta Beverages changing its name. Shasta Beverages is owned by National Beverage Corporation and we are not changing our name to Laxvad's Hot Cream. We appreciate you taking the time to inquire about this name change and for sharing your concern with us. I hope this will put your mind at ease to know we will continue to be Shasta Beverages Corporation. Shasta has been in the beverage business since 1889 and we are proud to we are, we are proud of our company's long history and commitment to producing good tasting, thirst quenching products. products. Enclosed, please find complimentary Shasta coupon towards your family's next purchase. It has been a pleasure to serve you. Sincerely, Martha Fleming, Customer Relations, CC, D. Gordon, B. Halsey, N. H. Baga, J. Corporella, D. Thompson. That's the letter that Mr. Nancy replied. Oh, God. Uh, 
got back from the Shasta company. And as you can tell good people, most companies are always, they're, they're always looking for ways to keep customers. And in this one, Shasta company is a pro at that. They ended up sending Mr. Ted L. Nancy coupons in his reply. So like, hey, this dude is a fan. He might not uh, have known we're not really changing our name and they take point to, to, to tell him that. And uh, they send him coupons. You know, a customer, a repeat customer is the one who brings you the most money. That's something I've uh, gotten to learn while trying to study sales, trying to practice sales, trying to become a great salesman, sales, great salesperson. Oh, good people. I finished these videos with uh, something personal about myself. And uh, look at that. I just segued into that. And I didn't even know. I didn't have something prepared. But ad lib, ad lib. I think that's what they call it. So that's, I, I just revealed something about myself. I'm trying to become a great salesperson, good people. I'm trying to become a great uh, influencer, somebody who, and a good influencer too, good people. You know, these days you'll find people who will, uh, I don't know, not own it. You know, I, I guess I, 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 I'm, I'm the same way too, but I'm trying to own it. You know, what is it? It, good people, it. It is everything I do, good people, own it on what I say, on what I do, on what I dress, you know, like I, I like owning what I dress, like this, this clothing I'm wearing today makes me really feel comfortable, like it's a good chilly morning, but I'm comfortable, I'm warm, I'm owning it, I feel comfortable in it, you know, it's not only warm, it's comfortable, you know, like it has buttons and stuff. I can hug myself with it. So own it, good people. If you're making a video, own the video. I like to try to think of myself as owning more of my videos each and each, the more I make them. So that's something personal about myself, good people. I'm trying to become a great salesperson, a great sales master. I try uh, to read sales, about sales, about selling, watch videos. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube whatever topic you feel like doing. And uh, I, I have a lot of topics uh, I try to study. I try to study uh, woodworking is one of them. I'm just checking out some construction they're doing over here in the house. And uh, they got some lumber laying outside, laying around the house. And uh, I like woodworking good people. I wasn't good at it when I was in school. Maybe I was good at it. I just thought I should have been better than I was. Anyway, thank you for watching, good people. Please subscribe, please like, and uh, check out my next video tomorrow. And uh, if you're a UFC MMA fan, I'll be making another video today. I have another channel called uh, A Casual's Perspective. I make prediction videos over there. So there's a UFC fight tonight. So uh, go check out the channel, subscribe to it too, subscribe to this channel, like this video. Thank you for watching. Adios.